Yeah, I think we ended pretty well last time, so four just go in. End of the food. Looks like we're working on the, the copper here. Let's get that rolling again. Got tin bars, got copper bars. Uh, we definitely need some more copper. Yeah, but I would like to make a repair kit area so we don't have to keep building things over and over again. So repair, a salvage and repair station is going to take five copper bars, which actually I actually have now. So let's going to make this bad boy. I'll put that there. And then we can do, this doesn't have anything, but if we wanted to repair, let's say we want to repair this, right? Uh, repair toggle to repair tools to weapons. Scrap parts. I would take one scrap part. There we go. Reinforce. Toggle to reinforce tools, weapons, and equipment. Reinforcing will improve the stats of the item by a small amount and also extend the durability. Oh. Can I reinforce even more? No, I guess I can't. I was going to say, can I do like a double reinforce? Okay, so I have a reinforced copper. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, I did get a hoe. So it actually wouldn't be a bad idea to start working on getting a farm going. Oh, this is... Yep. This is happiness. Screw making a new pickaxe every single time. Wasting my wood and all that stuff. This is... This is boss right here. Turn down the sound effects just a second here. There we go. Much better. Probably a really good area for a farm here, actually. Open this up a little bit. <laughs> I got like a toadstool area going over there. I'm not sure if that's going to bring in the enemies, though. That's the only thing I worry about with that part, is the enemy is coming in. Open this area up a little bit, because this is going to be so much better. I hear sand. Okay, so I'm loving this new pickaxe. I'm just like going ham with it right now. Oh, I cracked my wall. What if I could make these walls better if I place them down instead of break instead of just having them like this? I wonder if this has it where again, like if I do this and then I go for the wall and I place it, does it improve it? It makes it does it make it prettier? I don't know. I put a little light back here. It's gonna kinda close up this area here. And then we're gonna get and start the farm. I like games that just make it super easy to make farming. In fact, let's do this. There we go. Oh, I love that you could do that. Look at that. Tell me that's not cool. You could put little little torches on the side there. Let's clear out this area a little bit here. New item, ring of stone. Well, that's new. I like that. I definitely want to build my area much bigger here. Point available and running. What about mining? I've been tearing these walls up here. Okay, there we go. There's that. If I could do that with the, oh. I was gonna say if I could do that with this, maybe I could do that with the walls here too. That's a mistake for doing that, so I decided to just do that. 
Um, put the wall back here. Put the right there. I can. But I don't want the thing so close to the house. So let's do that. I know I'm very particular about a video game farming style. Um, let's get... Do I need to water these? I wonder. Any other seeds here? Bomb pepper, locked copper chest. Again, I need to figure out how to get a key for that. Hmm. So let's plant these. We'll plant that stuff. And then we'll go up here and grab this. I think the seeds retain their shape so you know what's going on. All right, so there's my farm, very tiny farm, but it's still a farm nonetheless. What if I can plant these? No, I can't plant these. Okay. Plus 14 mining damage, two set, plus 49. Simple ring carved out of stone. Wow. So I just found that randomly? Okay. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to argue with that. Um, five less drained if we're running. Okay. Oh, I never actually put that stuff in there. Nice. Okay. We'll take that. So I don't know about you in survival games. I'm a big fan of like two layered hallways. Sometimes even three. So stuff like this, I love. I forgot that you could put the torches on the walls. So now I'm like going to be putting torches on walls the whole time. Let's get rid of all this. I'll make this a little intersection area here. I'm gonna let me put something on the wall there for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. Lots of wood over here. This game is mostly about exploring and like figuring things out, and I love that. Like you could literally just dig for a little while and find a bunch of things. And I think I'm I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive that we're gonna end up finding. We're gonna end up finding uh the big what's it the big the big guy the um big uh jelly donut <laughs> whatever he is over there oh look at that i forgot about that over there um pick that there we go now jellies don't attack you unless you attack them. So let's get all this wood here. I see X's. Oh, okay. I'm like, I see an X. And from my pirate days, I know I need to dig at the X, right? Let's open up this room a little bit. Just have a better interpretation of what's going on and let's go and open up this bad boy here ooh sand walls I don't know that's got to be a shovel right yeah see ground slime doing this prevents it from Coming back, a wooden fish rod. All right. I like to hear that sand ground. If we put this on there, we could fight these guys. There we go. 
That's why we can start clearing up some of this land over here. sure what the deal is over here so let's go and check it out here oh that's a mad mushroom that's a mad mushroom right there love it let's get rid of everything near me that can potentially hurt me oh and another mad mushroom there we go. There's something in uh, there's probably something in there, honestly. There's probably something in here. A bunch of slime everywhere? Yeah, this is probably where the big boy is, isn't it? Something over there. There we go. I guess we're about to get super hungry, though. Hmm. There's something over there, too. Excellent. Oh, that's not copper. Wait a minute. That's not copper. Oh, cave pouch. That's gold. Uh oh. Okay, he's dead. Let's get some foods in us here. So many mushrooms. But a very good choice, a very good source of food, honestly. We're actually pretty dang far from where we started here. Oh! Requires copper key. So let's carry that with us again. Okay, so we need a couple of copper keys. We got special. We got special boxes here. Yeah, as long as you don't affect them, they don't really mess with you, huh? I know where I'm digging. I'm just digging. Stuff wall. Ooh. There we go. Little fishing hole. Um, little buried treasure place. This actually might be a good place to build a bridge across. Like right here. I 
killed it because I wanted to. Plus one gardening. Nice. Dude, it's so much easier to just dig this in. Look how easy that is. Oh, crystals. Nice. You have those random moments where you find a little place, a little area, and you're like, uh, okay. I dig across here. I'm honestly not even sure what my home is right now. <coughs> the slime area is so big that I'm just not even sure what my home is. Oh, I see, okay, I see the fields. We're good. Okay, we're good. There's gotta be some express. I wonder if there's gonna be like mine carts or something like that that I can just build. I probably need a watering can. I, did, I just planted all that. I, I didn't have a watering can. All right, so let's put this down here. Let's take our copper, which we just got some glorious stuff. I'm not sure if I can do anything with the gold art right now. Clay and stone walls, fairly found. We do have more seeds to plant though. So that expedition was actually pretty nice. Uh, this is like the. There we go. So it looks like I'm not lazy and just forgetting, <laughs> forgetting to plant some stuff. A crude tool for pulling out fish. Uh, valuable remains of what was once a proud civilization. Oh, that's cool. They go on my head. Doesn't it look like it almost goes on top of the head? Or has someone's skull? That'd be interesting. Um, got a lot of wood still. Yeah, I do need a watering can. Oh, that's convenient. Ah! If you hold on the button, it just flies by. That's cool. I wonder what happens if I dig up this stuff here. What happens if I dig up dirt? Dirt ground. Oh, so I can actually... Okay, so I can modify where I'm from. I can modify my stuff here. So if I wanted to, like... Let's say I went down here... And like I dug into here a little bit. And made like a little area. Create like a chasm here. Like that. There we go. There we go. So this way I can come over here. And fill in some of the lake there. See, that's a little more comfortable. Okay, something, whenever I come down here, Something smacks against the walls. I'm not sure if it's one of those little toad dudes or what's going on, but a little terrifying right now. I just want to tear down all this stuff over here. And make almost like a little toadstool room. Those are really good for food.
I think I might do that actually. Noise. We could get ourselves a piece of ground over here, so at least, you know, I, I don't like this this whole little. Okay, so do that, and then I can do this. I'm gonna say, if I'm gonna be civilized, let's be civilized. You know, if I'm gonna be civilized, if I'm gonna do some civilization stuff, I'm gonna do some civilization stuff. Let's make some, let's make some wood walls and stuff. You know? There we go. Give me a couple more. And then we have ourselves a little... I thought it was going to be even. I got to be even. Got to have it even, man. There we go. And this way I can literally just pit. Oh. Literally a toadstool room. this. And you might be asking, well, why wouldn't you just connect them? Uh, it's because I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if the toadstools will affect me in the long run, like if they're gonna attack me. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep it safe for right now. And then if they don't attack or if they don't grow the enemies in there, then I might figure out something else instead. But for the time being, we'll do that. I don't think I need to water them, do I? No, okay, cool. Oh, look at the watering already. Look at that already. Probably nice to have a door there too, honestly. So let's make a door. All right, and this should be like my first growth possibility. My first like food possibility. New update in running. Um. Okay, so, got all that. Place to sleep, also allows friendly habits to move in and place a room like that. Yeah, see, I need fiber. I don't know how I get fiber. I can finally make myself some armor if I wanted to. What does armor do again? It, max health armor and 9, 11, so that's 20, 28. It takes 28 bars to make a full set of armor. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to pop on a couple torches over here and then I'm going to do this repair paintable wall put that in there put the ancient coins in there put those in there put sand ground in there Uh, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. Trip those. Skull, sand wall. I oh, hear popping over there. Oh, wood's grown up. 
Wait, did I get something for wood? Did I grow trees or something? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just gonna throw it away. Oh yeah, put these away in here. We'll take the bow. Just in case I get some arrows or something. Yeah, did I get... Okay. A root seed. Oh. Okay, well, let's not grow those here. I'd like to have that in the area where it could just grow free. And it could just literally be uh, a giant wood farm. Uh, let's reinforce this. Ah, uh, scrap parts from the thing. Okay, so it takes it from there. That's actually very cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, you know, if I took it, took it back. There we go. Yeah, I like that it, it takes it from the chest next door. So you can actually put the chest next to things and keep things in there to, to hold it. I like that. I actually like let's put some flooring down. Now that I'm looking. What's my next upgrade? Is it a tin? It's a tin workbench, right? Yeah, I need tin bars. I have, fifth, I have three, sorry. I have three tin bars right now. Um, yeah, we're wearing this stuff. Look at my bucket head. <laughs> I'm bucket head now. Um, good to know that I have, like, good to know I can have almost an infant. Um, source of wood. Give some chance to get an extra item when crafting any wall, floor, bridge, or floor. Yes. That's phenomenal. Okay, so I had to water them once and they start growing. Look at that. Oh, you're a little late, sir. Sir? It's a little late. There we go. Okay, I like that. So let's have like a little wood farm somewhere. I'm gonna call this the home and decorating episode. So I've just been clearing out my area and, and getting myself a bigger area to farm in and stuff. I love it. The home and garden episode. My guy was a miner, so I guess it was uh, destined that he his mining skill be the highest one, right? Okay, so that's that. I'd like to find some more tin. I might do that off episode though. What else did I get? I got a bunch of ground sticky material that slows down careless adventurous slime blobs will start to quagga from slime covered surfaces over time. I feel like I could build myself a slime farm soon. Old amulet. Valuable. Okay. Those little X's on the ground. Obviously could be dug up. And they have treasure. I was gonna say, does that have anything? I actually should have reinforced the sword. Now I'm thinking about it, I should have reinforced the sword. Oh yeah, this area. Oh yeah, look at this. It's the little stone area. 
broken stone pillar. Oh, tell me I can dig up the grass, please. Triangle trinket? Tell me I can dig up this grass, please. Yes, tough ground. We're doing it. Okay, so let's work our way from the inside. I can get it all here. That'd be normal ground there. Yeah, heck yeah, we're taking the grass ground. Heck yeah. Because I'm a cosmetic fool. That's why. Then we have the tough wall. You should eat something. Let's eat this. There we go. Oh, here's more tough. So is this like a jungle biome? God, I feel like I should almost move my base over here. Because it's already set up with grass. Something over there. Ooh. What is this? Any higher mining damage? What is this? A decorative pot? Shut up, really? Wait a minute. This is why you don't carry everything on you. I could like throw all this stuff. I could like throw half this stuff away. Let's just go straight down and go drop off our stuff real fast. Then come right back up here. Can we do that? Oh no! Ow! You mother fluffer. Where's home? Home's all the way over there? Jesus. I walked all that way? Wow. Okay. Bomb pepper seeds? Okay, you're already watered, so I'm just gonna take your spot. I think I need another... Oh yeah, look, they do grow friends. That's cute. Alright, I think I'm gonna put that... I'm gonna need a lot of I'm gonna need a lot of um those those things right there.
Um, do I have everything in here? Yeah, I put that in there. I really didn't need those. I, I just kept over shits and giggles. Um, there's rootsies. Actually, do I have the moss covered stuff in here too? I do. Do I have dirt ground? No. See, I want to quickly go back and explore that area. See if I can't fly over there real fast and do that. A lot of mushrooms, man. A lot of want to be tough mushrooms here. I go the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I go up this way. I think right. Whatever. I'll figure out a way. It's technically the right way, just the wrong way. At the same time. A lot of wood there. Okay, there we go. Needs more damage. New item, iron ore. Ooh, precious urn. A pre uh, pretty decorative without any cracks and blemishes, but its original contents are long gone. Um, health potion, that's good. Ancient coins and ancient gemstones. And I'll take an ancient chest too, thank you. Flintlock musket? Okay. Can't argue much with a handful of lead coming at you. Wait, do I need arrows and stuff? Or is this just like... Oh, I don't need arrows. Oh. So, fun fact. You don't need arrows for the guns or stuff. That's new to me. I'm used to playing the games where you have to have arrows and stuff. That's the third one I have seen of that. I really massively need tin. Like massively need tin. Oh yeah, let's do that. Cross shaped necklace? Heck yeah. New item, peasant hat? Oh. Leave fossil. Huh. So I get for exploring, I guess, right? Commonly found in stone walls. Okay. If I was gonna throw anything away, what would I throw away? Probably the heartberry seed, because I have, I have a ton of them that can make more. Or actually the dirt ground. Literally everywhere. Alright, well this is um Again, tin is my enemy right now. Tin is literally my enemy right now. I 
If I could find tin, I'd be able to get that next crafting board and then be able to work my way into something. Let's work our way down here. This is a nice little deposit over here. And I might just dig straight down. There's definitely water over there. This is copper. Yeah, I might just dig straight down because it looks like the, th the room is below me. Thank God for my little lantern, man. I'd be so lost without it. I went a far way. Holy crap. Let's take a look at the map for a second. There's the core. go left. So I'd like to get as much ore in this little trip as I can. And I can literally just dig straight down to get to the core. Or to get to that little room there. This is kind of what part of the Core Keeper experience is, is exploring and finding little like nuggets like this. Okay, there we go. Thankfully I had a reinforced um, pickaxe. I don't know why, but my like, OCD is kicking in here with this. I told you I like a two-way pathway. Or like a two zone pathway, and for some reason this is just killing me here. Okay. See, that makes me feel better. That makes me feel much better. A little mushroom dude in there. This ancient chest has to be thousands of years old. I wonder if this works like this. Let's see. I guess I don't have to repair that right now, do I? Okay, let's go repair here. Got parts from that part. I want to reinforce it. Really no reason to reinforce the hoe. I mean, I'm not using it enough to do that, you know? Um, let's go and put the ore on. I did find some tin ore. So, I bet you copper and tin. I bet you I just have to, re I just have to keep mining to find it. <sighs> so that's going to be there. Might have to build another forge. because I want to get this working too. What am I crafting? What's my crafting at right now? Hey, I can start going to different areas. Nice. I might do the meticulous miner. For chance not to leave those durability when using weapon tools or weapons. Ooh. I like that one. So they use that a ton. Gardening. Fishing. Really on fish or other treasures from waters increase your fishing skill. There's other treasures. 
Totality 1, plus 1 max health. Plus 6 to all skill points, of all skill points added to max health. Range combat. Oh, uh, so the more damage, the more you use it, the more damage you do with things. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right, well, that's a good place to, I think this is a good place to end the episode here. I think we got a lot done today. Got the farm started, uh, started exploring ancient runes and everything like that. It was really cool. Honestly, uh, good, good uh, start, guys. Good start. I like that. Um, I will see you folks in the next episode. Thank you so much for checking out. Peace.